We're just going to make this real quick. There's somebody that's actually a bully. Now, I don't know if the father was a bully. They're taking this on. But they bully women with the Queen of Cups. And the, the son, I believe, is the smart one. Where he's the one that actually comes up with the ideas on how to bully. First, first what they do is they find a good option of a woman. It's usually women who they think are easily manipulated. They could come from wealthy families. And then they offer their love. And then they intentionally break your heart. That's breaking women. This is a man or a group of men that do this intentionally. But there's someone in particular, and I have here is bold. No, wait, what is it? Lord. These could be Christians. But I believe that this woman in particular actually has a father who has that title, a lord or something like that. Um, this, this woman here, there could be seven or seven women or seven siblings meant to be seen as superstar. Maybe these are the ones that they're, they're targeting. What's under here? This is a balanced person. This is somebody that they need in their life, though. You're targeting the wrong ones. Especially if these are loving women that actually see both sides and they won't judge you. You're going to see just how somebody could be seeing right now. Just how important that is. But you're the owner of something, an establishment. He could have actually thought, one of these guys could have thought that you, they had you, but they were, they were bamboozled by, by somebody. They thought they were with the owner the whole time. Now, there's a father figure here. It could be the woman's father. Is either also a bully or that type of guy that likes to intimidate women. I believe that this is being protected as a child. I don't see it. I think who protected you as a child is, a, is an actual sibling. Right, with the page of Pentacles, I, I just think you could be a tarot reader or have a social media platform. Uh, let me find out some more because I think I stopped flipping cards on that. Now, this also was woken up with a new tattoo. Nate came out. Either someone's name is Nate or that's the tattoo they have and they don't even realize they have someone's name on their back. And Yang, get, get it in. Focus on finding your way off the beaten path, but beware of being led astray by distraction. This was, that's what all of this was, a distraction. The target was the owner of an establishment. So now we have the page of chemicals. Why is this here? This is a business. This is an opportunist. Who is this? Is this your father? Uh, you could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. This definitely could be a sibling of yours. This could even be a, a younger sibling was involved with this. There's a group of people who are trying to take something. You're the actual owner. Let me get some letters here. Give me some letters, please. I have T E N A. First thing I just heard, T-E wanted to fly out. L-I. If this isn't a, a corporation, these could be the names of people on a board. L-A. Clay also. Just a 
embarrassing themselves. What, what's going to happen here in this situation? that they have the abilities to an earth angel. Definitely repercussions in that play plays angel. It's either the father, your father, your father, and your mother, and storyteller. <sighs> I don't feel like it's going to this for some reason. Tell me about the angel and the storyteller. Okay, you have an angelic face, and that's what it is. And I think, honestly, this is someone trying to make you out to be, to look like death. Because if somebody saw you without editing or any kind of manipulation, illustrative manipulation is what they just said, they would see that you are an angel. And I'm guessing that maybe that's why they're attacking you or wanting to keep you separate or don't want you to be seen by people because as soon as somebody looks at your face, the first thing that they think is that you have the face of an angel. You could also have the voice of an angel if you're a singer. You are either a model or destined to be a model or someone that's supposed to be seen and that's why you have this face. You're meant to be seen. The face tells your story. Okay. When you pay, when you look at someone's face, you'll be able to tell what kind of life they have. But that's not everybody. It's a difference between someone who went through the process of healing and, and just allowing themselves to go through change, which means loss and hurt and sadness. You'll be able to tell. I think somebody's like, I want the one. I want the one that actually has the story to tell. Now, now the other one, whoever's portraying the angel that actually didn't go through what the other one did, now they're gonna, uh, they're showing me somebody racing to find information to put together the story because now whoever this one person, it centers around an individual, I wanna hear you tell me, so what happened? Because I already know parts of someone's story. How do I know? This could be your twin, either a twin flame or, or a sibling that, that has a similar story. And now they're gonna ask somebody. So tell me what happened here. How, yeah, that's what it is. They're trying to copy your actual story. But he knows that the, that the real one actually got to a certain level of ascension and he's gonna be able to tell by someone's face. You still look angry. You look angry at the world still wearing all of your scars on your face. That could actually be specific for some of the scars on their face. I guess you'll know who this is for. Either way, we're not going nowhere. The face doesn't lie is what I'm being told and neither do the eyes. Love you. Fill me out.